Hello beautiful people, how are you today? In today's video, we are going to review very, for the very first time on this channel two products from Tower 28. I have a bronzer and a blush right here ready to be tried on. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and keep on watching. So coming at you today with a crazy hair, I'll tell you sometimes this I, this hair cannot be controlled, this is the situation, it is what it is, but we're gonna have to work with it, you know what I mean? Like it's just gonna have to work with it. The same like I have to work with a lot of shit happening into my life for the past couple of weeks, it's been worse to worse to worse. But you know we're still alive so at least we can be grateful for that we're still healthy so let's move on and keep on rocking all right all right so here is this is the um golden hour blush i haven't even opened these i don't even know how they look inside i just purchased them from sephora i got the blush i got it during the sale the vip sale i'm sorry about that something um but i got this and i really wanted to try because this is an orange one which is kind of hard to get and i really love orange uh, blush which is kind of hard to find but when you find it the right shade oh so good and then for the bronzer I got in best coast I let me tell you I have not tried this and when um, I think I heard for the very first time about this uh, tower 28 brand apparently very hard to open um, I heard for the very first time last year, all of a sudden everyone, everyone was talking about it and I was like, what is going on? Who is this brand? Where did it came from? What's going on? You know, so, and I still don't know, but I did find them at uh, Sephora. So I'm curious to see if I do enjoy them. So I'm going to go with the bronzer first when i was in there i asked one of the girls over there which one they would recommend and they recommended something way lighter and i was like are you sure though because i mean it's kind of hard to see my face with the mask when it's like all the way up here so i i, I was a little bit skeptic when she was telling me to go with a lighter shade because it's like you're not even gonna see that but then again, you know, when you use creams, are you gonna see much? I don't know. So I'm gonna get with my finger. This feels really balmy. Wow. Does it have any scent? No scent. But it feels very, very balmy. Now I'm not sure if like going with my finger is the way to go, but that's what I'm gonna try to do. Okay, there we go. That is pretty. Mm -hmm. See, this is what I'm talking about. If I would have went with something even lighter than this, then you would not see anything. Seriously. Like, what would it be there? Nothing. Nothing to see. Um, by the way, for my base, I used this ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. For my under eyes, I am uh, using... The new Fenty is not the e drop. The Bright Fix Eye Eye Brightener um, in deep. But I have this one in deep butters 07. The foundation I have in 105N. But that's what I'm so I'm talking about. Like if I would have went with a lighter shade, then you don't see literally anything. It would have been like I think it would have been quite exactly my skin color the one she was recommending me I was like oh, okay well I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go with your choice I'm just gonna go with mine still you know but so far 
it looks pretty. I don't know. Should I use a brush? Let's just use a brush. I feel like with my finger is a little bit difficult. So I'm gonna use a brush and just kind of make sure. Yeah, there we go. It gives me a little bit more color in there. I'm gonna add a little bit over here. I haven't powdered anything, not in, not even under my eyes yet because I want to be able to put these on first without having to interfere with any type of um, powder, you know? And then I'm gonna apply my powder at the end. Yeah, this is the way to go. It is definitely with a brush and that looks absolutely beautiful i'm gonna add a little bit on my nose for my eyeshadow i used the tiny marbles this one right here with, from sydney grace which i really still love there is one shade in there that i was a little bit surprised that i didn't like when i tried it on but uh, all the other shades yeah they're really beautiful Okay, so this is how it looks pretty, right? That looks really nice. And I would have to say, if you're somebody that likes a very lightweight makeup, this will be just amazing for you. This will be the way to go. You know, I'm not that type of person, um, but I'm trying to get to be something in that direction. Um, I'm not quite there yet. Not quite there yet, but I, I think I'm getting to appreciate, I'm getting closer to appreciate a light makeup day, you know what I mean? For me, because I'm oily, I feel like with, with this, like this lightness makeup, it's not gonna last forever. Alright, so now let's do the blush. Blush, have mine in golden hour. I hope this is going to be the orange that I had in mind. Oh, yes. Yes, I like it. I like it. Yes. Oh, you have no idea how much or how long I've been looking for a blush this color. And I don't want it to turn any anything close to pink because I, I have some that are turning a little bit to a pink but this one no this one is true to orange like true to orange that's what i like i'm gonna be curious to see um how it's gonna look like when i'm gonna apply the powder on top yeah let's see oh man that looks so good oh so pretty But that looks amazing, amazing, yes, yes, yes. So I'm gonna set my face. First, I think I'm just gonna go and set my under eyes. Yesterday, I used the Fenty Beauty powder. I do have the review out, so you can go and watch it if you're interested. But today, I really wanna use this Fenty Beauty one because this Fenty, powder let me tell you it's freaking awesome um i did use it in one of the videos i think it's coming out i think it's coming out before this one so you're gonna see but i oh my god this powder is freaking good the only problem is the scent <sighs> and i can feel it i can feel it even now the scent is like killing me but the powder and the way it sets and the way it looks on the skin, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, and then I'm going to set my face using the same, using the Huda Beauty. Now let's see how it's going to look over this.
So the orange still shows through. I really, really like that. I really, really like how this looks like. The bronzer is not showing that much. I still think like this bronzer, I, I could have went with even of a darker shade, but it's still looking pretty beautiful. I'm gonna quickly go finish off my eye makeup, add a little bit of mascara, and then come back and show you. Here it is. I really do like how it looks. So pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. For my lips, I used Charlotte Tilbury mm, Pillow Talk Medium. And uh, for... I did put a little bit of uh, liner in my waterline. This one from Makeup Geek Nude Eyeliner. So today I am going out to a food truck that is a Romanian food truck restaurant that is two towns away from me. I've never been there and I'm excited to go and try this little sausage-like um, barbecue things that we usually eat in Romania. It's a very difficult dish to find and make because the meat and the components are a little bit different and uh, I'm excited to go and try and see if they're like authentic Romanian, you know what I mean? Um, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna include a little bit of a video right here at the end. So that's it for here with the makeup review. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.